This video will explain how to set up your Scorpius controllers in version 2 of RCS64. Prior to using Scorpius with RCS you will need to download the dongle installer and throttle controller download from the Scorpius wireless website. Once this has been done you can update the firmware on your Scorpius controller. Instructions out on how to do this are on the Scorpius website. To get started with RCS, first insert your Scorpius dongle into a USB port on your PC. Start up RCS64 and the green light in the Scorpius box uh, should light showing that Scorpius is connected. Click on the Setup Scorpius control button. Now this part's a little confusing so take careful note. Communication between Scorpius and RCS takes place via ID1. ID does not have the same meaning in Scorpius as it does in RCS. You must set the ID value to 1 for RCS and Scorpius to be able to work properly. Pin ID in Scorpius is the controller ID that we use in RCS. Set the pin ID number to the ID number of the controller that you wish to program. In other words, if you want to program your Scorpius controller to ID 4 on your APB, enter the number 4 in the pin ID box. Click on the change pin ID control in controller button in RCS. Now open up the menu of your Scorpius controller and scroll, scroll to the configure from PC option. Then press the lane change button on the top of your Scorpius controller. Close the pop-up screen in RCS and press the menu button to return to the standard row screen on your Scorpius controller. Pull the throttle on your controller and the blue bar should go up showing which pin or as we call it controller ID the controller is programmed to. You can also change the driver name in the controller by entering a name in the driver text box then clicking the dra set driver name in controller button and follow a similar procedure as above. Using the screen you can also edit throttle profiles within the controller however we do not advise that you do this. Use instead the throttle profile editor in RCS for that purpose. When using your Scorpius controller, you must have the brake settings set at zero or certain features in RCS will not work correctly. The sensitivity feature that your Scorpius controller has does however work and can be used during races. Once you have configured your controller, exit the Scorpius screen. Open the race management screen and then the controller screen. Select the controller type from the drop down menu which corresponds to the program Scorpius controller. You can now use your Scorpius controller. Have fun!